will be taking on players rated 2,000 above. Uh, do I have any challenges right away? I've been challenged by a few players a little bit lower rated. Uh, let me let me just press the start game button and see what occurs. Mm -hmm. And we get a game against Slaughterhouse 28. And this feels like an excellent opportunity for my next nominated opening, which was play H4 or H5. And look, I've managed to play both of those moves on the first move. Uh, with a little help from my opponent, obviously. Um... Okay, well, we should take this game seriously, because, hmm, I see a theme here. Knights on the Rim are oh, very good. Look how excellent this F4 scroll is. I have a feeling he might remove this knight, but uh, turns out he didn't want to. Anyway, we get our knight to this F4 square, and then we can follow up with a quick G3, Bishop G2, and you'll start to see just how much pressure we get on his centre. See, already we're attacking this pawn. The downside is I don't know what we're going to do with our king. But the upside is I don't really care. Um, 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 um. Let's put a knight on g5. I mean, let's... Hmm. Just realise to put a knight on g5, I've got to go via this square. Do I care if the knights get swapped? Um... Yes. Alright, let's go C4. Let's switch my plan. It was not set in stone. Just happy to open up this diagonal for my bishop. And... Ooh, I thought that was risky. I honestly thought that move was risky. Because... He has just some tender... Squares over here. Maybe I can't take advantage of it. But I'm going to take advantage of it at some point. You mark my words. Or, you know, if I'm wrong, please forget about them. Um, so, he's pinning me again. There's lots of pinning going on today. Uh, I kind of want to sack a rook. So, the way to sack a rook is to sack a rook. Here, have a rook. That, so far, this could not be going more according to plan. I am successfully a rook down. And I'm threatening some of my opponent's pieces. And we even get a check. And since when was a check not worth a rook? Uh, we could even take a rook. Now our rook sack has turned into a peace sack. What do we have? We have two pawns for a piece? That even sounds reasonable. That's not like... That's even not a sack. Um, where do we go now? We can go knight d5. And if he swaps that off, we get another pin. But is there something stronger? Uh, when you see a good move... Look for a better one, then realise 10 minutes later you should have played the original move and you've got 10 seconds left. Okay, let's go Rook D1. That's all we should have. We should have a adapt famous chess quotes to a hack attack theme. Uh, uh, okay, he looks like he's trying to stop me playing Rook D8, which is very sensible and annoying. Uh, what do we do now? Knight d5 looks fun. Or do we develop the bishop? The bishop doesn't have anywhere good to go. Let's play this knight d5 move. Because it turns out down to a minute and seven seconds. This game's kind of... This, I'm enjoying this one. Despite the fact my opponent played h5 on move one, he hasn't really been able to activate this rook. Uh, so he wants me to do that for him. Well, I'm not going to... I might fall for that. Um, takes, and then moving the bishop away was kind of my intention, but 
let's just go forward. Forward, not backward. I'm not sure what we're achieving. Where was that bishop before? It's on g4. There we go. I'm sure that's allowed, right? Who needs to remember what just happened when you can instant replay? Uh, time to develop the bishop. I have a feeling that my time is going to become an issue in this game. That is my second bold prediction. Oh, look, I'm sacking another rook here, guys. Look at all these sacks go. All we need now is for there to be an actual mate, and everything will be fine. So if he takes, then I can regain this bishop. And... And then I'm still material down. I don't know how that works. I am actually running out of material with which to give checkmate. But, okay. So I have a bishop for a rook. I also have two pawns. But one pawn might be about to go bye-bye. Um, uh, I don't want to lose any pieces. Let's actually start being careful with these things. Yeah, I know. I heard how that sounded as well. Uh, I don't like my position so much. think we might have to move to the let's grovel for a draw. And then miraculously find some way to swindle a win. Uh, first step, we want the king on g2 so that we don't get checked. Ever. Uh, second step, make sure you lose on time. Ooh, here's our, here's our way of winning. We take this pawn, hope he goes rook takes pawn, and then go queen d3 and pick the rook up. <laughs> this is where you have to look innocent. And then work out what you're going to do when he doesn't take that pawn. Ah. Well, turns out I didn't look innocent enough. Um... Maybe set stage two, you take it and then I go queen there? And you think you're defending it with queen there and then I go bishop here? Don't think it's working. Maybe he takes back with the pawn and I... It's, it's like he's vaguely aware that I'm trying to cheaper him. Ooh, 11 seconds. Thank goodness for the two second increment here. Um, what we need is a plan. But pushing a pawn isn't a good move. Let's go try and win his queen. Ah, uh, that didn't work. Look how safe my king is. I'm just gonna... My plan is to give checks and be irritating. And influence people. Um, and not lose on time. That's a lot of things to remember. But look how safe this king is. I don't think I should lose this game. Check. And he's going to go rookie seven, I guess. Catching up slowly on the clock. What I really need is a winning plan. Unfortunately, I don't have one. And he's found the plan push a pawn. Okay, let's go with plan give checkmate. Give checkmate or die, ch die trying. Uh, ooh, that's, good. that's a check. Um, that's also a check. This is exciting. Uh, that's also a check. That's not. We're not agreeing to a draw here. Uh, back to checking. And we're going to bring the bishop back. 
and check and grab the pawn. See, he thought it was all about his king, but we just won ourselves a pawn back. And now we sneakily bring the queen around the back, like that, and queen back around here. And isn't this the most riveting ending you've ever seen? See, we'd never get this kind of game without the two-second increment. Uh, bishop back. Queen check. Queen here. Bishop here. Uh, I don't know why I'm putting my bishop on such a dumb square. Alright, back on this diagonal, because that's good. Uh, here. How do we make progress here? Maybe e4 is going to be good for us. Uh, let's bring the queen across. Look how irritating we're being, maybe. And we give a check. <laughs> well, this probably breaks the record for longest hack attack game. That I can remember, anyway. God, is it time for the break yet? Uh, when do we go e4? Let's go e4 now. Drama! And things are happening. If takes, I'm going to go queen e7 check with ideas of things. And we get another check. Is this progress? It's something. And another check. Oh, and we're, we're winning... Yes, check, and then bishop d5, and then where's the final? Queen here is the simplest, isn't it? He's got no checks. He's in a deadly pin, and the pin is the pin to win. And I think I know how to win this ending. And there we go, there's the 78 move hack. Uh, that was game one. Guess we need a game two. Uh, I think the guy deserves a rematch. Although that was, you know, as long as about three games. Ah, oh, I'm exhausted. Alright. I was also asked to play the Fred Defence by someone who said, Surely the Fred Defence isn't bad. I think it is, but, um... <laughs> How bad, we're just about to find out. On the plus side, people don't really know the theory to it. And I wonder what the reason for that is. Do you know the theory to it, Tom? No. <laughs> I don't know if there is theory. No, I'm vaguely, I'm vaguely aware that there's theory to everything. Um, or is that just a film that I was thinking of? Uh, well, I, I will comfortably say I'm out of theory I'm trying to work out what the point of giving up that pawn is it seems to be having a nasty bind over my position so I guess in for a penny, in for a pound or we just keep giving up material come on, there you go Ah, we finally took back a pawn. See, it seems like if you sacrifice all of the pawns that you have, eventually you get a lead in development. How many pawns are we going to be down? Just one. Two, five, three, seven. That pawn drops. Let me go... Huh. Let me go here. I think if I went bishop b6, he was going to go b5. He's going to go there anyway. Fine. I'm not worried by that. So yeah, 50 episodes. And I think... Does anyone remember a longer game than that? I mean, maybe we had one that went beyond 77 moves, but... Uh... It's only recently that we've been doing these longer time controls, so... in. In terms of time, that was almost certainly the longest. I think we can play this move. Hmm. 
What about this move? Has a threat. If he castles, we can take that. Yeah, looks sensible enough. E7 could be irritating. Queen takes bishop a3. Ooh, he does just play that. Takes king h1. Now oh, let's just take this. And he goes f4. And I play queen b6. No. Takes f4, bishop c... No. Okay, let's take this pawn and then run away again. A little bit wimpy, but, um, nah. Knight f... Knight e4 takes, takes. Knight. Really struggling with this opening. Let's just threaten to re regain this pawn. What do I do if he plays rook e1 and defends it? Well, I guess we're about to find out. Uh, I really need to finish developing. Even at the cost of just never winning back that pawn. I think I can trace my, uh, my problems in this game back to a specific moment. Can you guess which moment in the opening I think things went wrong. Why not tweet it to me uh, on Twitter, uh, at T Randall, or, you know, just let John know in the chat. Mm. Voice is disappearing again. He's going to put the knight in on f5. I don't like that. Let me move the queen. This game really is still going very badly. My new plan is knight f5, queen c7, e7, queen h2, mate. Seems like a legitimate plan to me. Didn't work, but, uh... We have a few tricks. Knight can't move away because of knight g3, forking the king, king and queen. So we do get ourselves the two bishops. And... We are sacrificing more material. And by sacrificing, I mean losing. But, hey. Semantics. Um, right. I need to give mate somewhere in order to not lose. Don't think it's going to work. Ah, this is a good move. If rook d7, then I'm completely bust. Ooh, he didn't play rook d7. Takes queen h5, king there, there. Okay, that also wins. Where's my trick? He is about to play queen d8. Ah, we just have to play this. Maybe we can somehow do something with the bishops. I mean, I doubt it, but... Down to only 10 seconds. You can take a draw if he wants it with these checks, but something tells me he's after more. Well, he gives the check, and then he's going to play something else, like queen takes there. Uh, I don't have a good answer to that at all. Not even a little bit. Uh, that allows me almost mated. Uh, I've got to play it. Queen h5 causes me to resign, pretty much. And good game. <coughs> oh. Don't know what happened there. Well, it does mean we go into a decider. Against Slaughterhouse28. This has been... Pretty interesting series. Let me break out 1e4 for game number 3. See if we can tilt it in our favour. Hmm. What's a good line against the French? How about the two knights? 
Let's see if I can play a variation where I castle queenside. That would be fun. I like castling queenside against the French. Not very many people do it. Well, I suppose there are some lines, but... Hey. And this game actually does resemble something like opening theory, which is something of a novelty for Hack Attack. So now he can't castle because bishop takes h7 is very dangerous, so f6 is the normal move here. Queen b6. Okay. Go for it. And queen b2, something like knight b5. I think it's supposed to be very dangerous. Well. Well, well, well. His queen is short on squares. And he has to deal with this threat as well. And then I could just come into d6 with a knight. But I think I might have something better. Can I trap the queen directly with rook there? I don't think so. So I imagine I'm moving the queen somewhere. I mean, I don't want the queen to come back to b4. That's the thing. That is the thing here. So if queen e2, he goes queen b4, and the game continues. Is that true? Yes, it is. So a3 is vaguely a move, and then... His queen still can't escape. We're just going to play and see if we can trap this. I mean, we have other ways of playing the position as well. Maybe I was supposed to play rook b1 first? I don't know. But now I've got a threat, for example, of rook b1, queen a2, rook b3. And it's very hard for him to save the queen. Or just queen e2 and rook there. He can play knight takes e5, knight takes e5, knight takes e5, rook b1. And he drops some material. Knight c5. Okay. Okay. Where do we go to next? Kind of think... Getting carried away with winning the queen is one way we could throw this game away. So, why don't we mix in a few threats against the king. So, knight in there is a bit dangerous. Maybe I'll suddenly come queen out and just give checkmate. Because uh, checkmate is even better than winning the queen. Hmm... So what am I threatening here? I'm threatening knight d6 and taking on f7. Uh, if he goes knight takes d3, I can play queen takes. And then I've also got the threat of rook f b1 trapping the queen. Also, I have a threat of queen h5 threatening fun stuff and then rook across. Uh, so it's a threatening position. We'll go with that. I am threatening threats. And all the while my opponent's time is ticking down, he is now down to less than a minute on the clock, 50 seconds and counting. We do have the two second increment, which was uh, entertaining enough in game one, but... Okay, king e7. Hmm. Oh, I feel like we're getting pretty close to mate here. What about queen here? G6. I really want to go here. But it's not very good. So we're going to go here. 
And the question is, can we do something really bizarre? No. No, I'm definitely faffing around in this game. Rook across. Knight e5. No. Is he really getting away with this? I mean, not... He can't really, really be getting away with this, can he? I mean, not really, really. Uh, is knight takes f7 a move? I don't really understand any of this. Knight f7, knight f4, knight h8, queen there, queen there. I mean, I'm going to play this move because it means a large number of pieces are on pre. I mean, such a large number that it's basically impossible to count. It's like, you know, one of those one grain of rice, two grain of rice things. Anyway, he, uh, none of the pieces got taken. Which is... Um, sensible. And then I didn't take any of his pieces, and then, you know, there's a theme. Ooh! I'm not going to take any more pieces again. Uh, but I'm finally trapping his queen. Ish. I mean, he can play... Knight takes e5, knight takes and queen takes... I mean... Ooh, there's a check on f2. Anyway, there are things going on and we appear to have less than 20 seconds each. So, what has been a very hard-fought series is coming down to another increment battle. Uh, do I have mate? Uh, no. Uh, do I have mate? No. Alright, but I do have an extra exchange, and I can win a rook with knight c7, and rook f1 is good. Uh, do I have mate? I don't know. Let's guarantee at least winning a rook, and give a check. And I do have a mate. Excellent. Well, that was, uh, that was a really enjoyable series. Um... I think this is one of the reasons, series like this is one of the reasons that I'm really enjoying this slightly slower time.